Anthony Jex here with Riley Bradbury, Avery Guile, and Jackie Mays. Girls tied the program with the most goals, seven goals. Largest margin of victory in program's history at seven to nil. So Riley, take me through the game, being one of the veterans on this side now. The midfield really ran it for the first 45 minutes. And what are your thoughts on the, the big victory tonight? Um, I just think that we were able to find each other really well, find the gaps and play through. And then once we were able to connect to our forwards, we were able to like unlock the gaps up top, which led us to get to the byline and cross the ball in. And that's where we found most of our success. Yeah, and, and Avery, you were one that was rearing down the flanks the entire game, showcasing your athleticism, your speed, your pace. And you were, you were finally able to create some opportunities. And Coach Lingen just really applauded your hard work and said that kind of showed that hey we can still create goals and so how do you feel about the match tonight i felt like it went really well i feel like every time i got the ball down the line i looked up i feel like all my teammates were there supporting me and i feel like on the other side as well it was the same way and i mean we bagged seven away yeah. so we did a very good job of putting the balls in the back of the net and really getting in the final third so i'm really proud of our team yeah and jackie you kind of were the one that opened the floodgates officially when <laughs> yeah. when you got that one and um you know, seeing some big time minutes tonight, like, is this to show that in training, you guys have felt like this is coming? I mean, Coach Lincoln just said that she felt sorry for whoever it was when you guys were gonna do this too. And so just in your thoughts in training, like how has this come? Like, what are your thoughts on tonight? It finally showing on the pitch tonight. Yeah, I mean, the past two weeks, we've been focused on finishing rather than just shooting. And it's really just showed tonight. Um, mm. We learned how to put it away and there's still a lot more work to be done. But I feel like when the floodgates opened, it really just showed that the way that we fight for each other and the way that this team is going to fight for this, these victories these next few weeks is just um, amazing to see. And so we're excited to continue. Yeah, and tell me about that mentality too. Is It's such a deep squad that you girls have. And Jackie coming off the bench tonight, providing the goal, hearing the reaction from the girls of, of the goal was, was cool to see on the sidelines. But is it also a testament to show that any one of you are ready at given any every, any given moment? Yeah, I mean, preparation is key. And I know that every single girl on the bench, um, no matter what role we are in, we are stepping in ready. And I think that's what we absolutely love about this team. It's not just the 11 starters, but it's each girl that comes off the bench and even the girls who are on the bench um, supporting each other. That's what makes the difference. So yes, definitely. Yeah, and Riley, and you were everywhere in the midfield today yourself as well. And um, the midfield is the engine. So you guys have had a little tweaks here and there with kind of the setup in the midfield. But is this the best performance that we've seen from, from you three in the midfield today? I think, yes. I think we've had a lot of growth within our like younger players to, like, to see them come in and step up and play the game the way that yeah. we know how to play. And like, also, I'd really like to applaud our forwards. Like, they've mm -hmm. been working day in and day out and getting onto the byline, getting into those spaces, making those runs to support us. And like, I think their, what would you say, like, your guys' actions tonight like, mm -hmm. really helped us. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Avery, we now travel up to Santa Barbara, beautiful Santa Barbara in Westmont. It was a tie 0-0 in the non-conference game, but do the girls know how important this conference game now is on the Saturday? Yes, I believe we do. I think after the 0-0 tie against Westmont before, like that's been what we've been thinking about as well, like going into conference, mm -hmm. like, okay, like that should have been a game where yeah. we should have came out on top. And so all of our training, all of our preparation can prepare us for that as well. And even as forwards, like we've been going out like 30, 40 minutes before practice and really just putting the balls in the back yeah. of the net and gaining that confidence. So I have no doubt that we'll come out on top. And so how do we come out victorious against Westmont? I think just playing the way that we have been playing, especially tonight, like just combining and getting the ball into the midfield and making those runs up top and getting the ball to the byline and just doing what we know how to do. And yeah, playing ourselves. Thanks, girls. Best of luck.